you've done stand up, you've done TV, you've done movies. What do you like mm-hmm. best? I don't like anything best. I like all of them the same. I love all of them, but stand up is my foundation. Which one? I love easy? all the show business, but stand up is my foundation. Which one is e- comes easiest for you? Nothing's easy. Show business is hard. Fame is hard. But uh, it's just so natural to me. It's not easy. I, I guess we just make it look easy, but it's hard. It's a very hard thing to do. It's just that the talent makes you it makes it look easy. But no, anything worth having is worth struggle. I struggle with everything in life. What do you do to get ready for your your stand up? Do you have a routine? I keep my heart light. No, I keep my heart light. I uh, stay try to stay drama free, and I just keep my spirits up. Have you performed in Montana before? No, I don't think so. But I'm looking forward because Good. I've had other stand up buddies tell me that Montana is a real hit place to play. Wow. <laughs> um, well, I hope so. We're getting a lot. You don't of think stand-up. there's hip people in Montana? You don't think there's hip people oh, out there? Oh, I think we're very hip. No. <laughs> All right, I know you're hip, and that's my crowd. Hip people. I hip people all over the world. Um, what do you usually talk about in your stand-up? Do you usually tell personal Everything under the or? sun. <laughs> Everything under the sun. We all human beings, baby. At the end of the day, we just mammals. We all monkeys. I'm just looking for people to identify and relate to what I'm talking about. Hit people. Um, hey, what's your next project with 30 Rock um, on the way out? Oh, I couldn't call it. Right now, I'm just focused on doing the stand-up tour. I, I, I'd like to focus on one thing at a time. Hollywood won't show, shut down if I'm not on TV. <laughs> TV's not going anywhere. TV's been there 100 years. It's not going anywhere. I just left the show two months ago. Um, what are you going to take away from that experience? Um, what's your, I had a good what time. I got a good time. I learned a little bit more about TV as far as acting chops and all that. I had a good time. I'll take away really fond memories of the people that I work worked with. Any um, craziness on the set that you can tell me about? Oh uh, no, we had no time for that. We were a single camera, and we had to. We didn't really have time for goofing around a lot because, you know, when you single cameras like filming a movie every day, so we had to get the shots. You know, we would have been there. It was already a twelve-hour day, so you know, goofing around would have cost us. We'd have been there 20 hours a day, and I have a family and all that right. stuff. So, and so does Tina and Alec and all the rest of us. We had fun, but we, when we went to work, we went to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Were Were there any times in your career where you just thought, I'm just going to bag it, do something else, when, when things were tough for you? No. No, my father never raised me that way. You know, Not a I never, I never felt that. Yeah, I never felt that way. I don't feel that way now. I love my, oh, you should see my wife. She is so pregnant now. <laughs> well, I was going to ask about that. You're, you're going to be a dad again. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. She's standing right here with me. <laughs> Do you think you'll be a different dad or a better dad now? Oh uh, right yeah, now? things are different now because I have the, you know, because of the position that I'm in, I'll probably be able to spend more time with this child. Although my other sons are grown men and they're good people and they're awesome people, this one is different. I'm in a position where I can spend more time with her. Are you hoping it's a girl? Is it a girl? I don't know if it's a girl or boy, but I'm, uh, yeah, I want a girl. Because <laughs> you don't have one, right? I don't have one, so I want to know what that Tracy. I, I would like to see that Tracy. <laughs> I would like to see that one because I know she's going to tame me. <laughs> Well, I'm guessing that this one might get a little more spoiled than your other three. Oh, like crazy. You know that. <laughs> um, She's so- going to be the only one that can take advantage of Daddy. <laughs> well, that's Daddy's little girl. When I'm old, she's going to come back and help me out. <laughs> Change my bedpan and everything. Go to the store. They got a sale on the pen. They run the sale on the pen. She's going to go get Daddy for his pen. What do you like best? You've She's laughing, up. babe. She's <laughs> laughing. She's laughing. Yeah, I said the pin. Uh, about your material for your stand-up, do you do a lot of thinking beforehand, a lot of writing, or do you do a lot of... No, people should not focus on... Listen, it's like a finger pointing away to the moon. 
Don't focus on the fingers or you'll miss all that other heavenly glory. If you focus on the material, you're not going to have a good time because it's all about funny. People worrying too much about the, the content of my material instead of laughing. Don't worry about what I'm talking about. This is this funny laugh. That's what comedy is about. But too many people, PC is killing comedy. Yeah. PC is killing us, man, as a people. To me, people trying to be politically correct instead of dealing with the truth. I agree with that one. I'm not going to stop being a liar and fabricating and doing all that crap. My life is my life. If I'm talking about my life, nobody can tell me what it is. And I ain't got to be politically correct because I don't come from politically correct. I'm a 44-year-old black man born and raised in Ben Stop, Brooklyn. Um, well, any other stories you want to tell me from your career? What's What's been um, the, the most... You just let moment? everybody know Wisconsin. I'm coming out there and I'm getting them pregnant. <laughs> I'm going to birth a nation out there. I'm getting I'm getting girls pregnant for twenty six dollars, and for an extra eight bucks I'll come back and induce the labor. <laughs> I break water for eight, an extra eight bucks. Is this one of the lies about you, or <laughs> what? You know how many kids I got? <laughs> half of, half of South Africa is mine. 